Do you know the earliest known ancestor of human? Well, researchers claim that fossilized traces of 540 million years old creatures are exquisitely well preserved. This microscopic sea animal is the earliest known step on the evolutionary path, called as Sacoritis, that leads to fish and eventually to human. Have you ever wondered when and how the very first cell arises on Earth? In 2018, scientists have reported that very earliest form of life on Earth may have been bacteria, almost 3.22 billion years ago. In 2017, a group of scientists also reported evidence of microbial life on Earth almost 3.48 billion years ago. It was found at Old Gear site in the Pilbara, Cretan of Western Australia. So, how the life begins? How does the first cell even look like? This is on Testa. And you're watching Understand the Core. Our first cells still in existence or fossilized? What are the components it was made up of? What kind of environment was it the time of origin of life? Let's get back to the origin of life. Or even before the formation of Earth. Let's understand the formation of Earth. Formation of Earth is related with the formation of solar system. Billions of years ago, the gases that form solar system gradually started shrinking. Increasing more matter gathered in the center while temperature was constantly increasing. The sun formed from the condensed molecular cloud of dust. And it's not only the story of sun, but there are more sun-like stars that form in the same way. Due to rapid rotation, the rest of the clouds scattered and flattered into the orbiting protoplanetary disk around them. The dust particle in the protoplanetary disk collided and stacked together due to electrostatic attraction forming planetesimals. When they reach a size of about 1 km, they started colliding with each other and forming protoplanets. Protoplanets are few thousand kilometers in diameter. Small planetesimals continuously collides with the bigger protoplanets and this how they increase their mass. This is protoplanet Earth 4.6 billion years ago. Around 170 million years after the formation of Earth, a similarly young planet named Thea collides with the Earth. In this collision, Thea demolished and merges with Earth. The Earth mass therefore increased. This also creates a large mass of debris which later transform into moon. Soon, the moon became tidally locked with the earth. At that time, moon became the celestial body orbiting just only 25,000 kilometers above the earth. This was the time when earth was cooling down. The distance between the moon and earth also increased. Tidal locking was also affecting earth, even to the current earth and the life on earth. Now, let's get inside into the early Earth. Many theories were proposed to explain the origin of life. Some were quite funny, like spontaneous generation where supernatural deities create life and heterogeneous theories where life arise from different forms. According to Aristotle, aphid arise from dew on plant, flies from putrid matter and mice from dirty hay. Theory of heterogeneous states that bees arise from a flower. Which is funny even to talk about. Bees lay egg on the surface of ovary and then the young one arise from them. Modern scientist John Desmond Burnell described the idea of such theories that life was created just by chance events. In 1665, Robert Hooke published the first drawing of microorganisms which was followed by Anthony von Leeuwenhoek in 1676. The first experimental evidence against the spontaneous generation came in 1668 when Francisco Reddy showed that no maggots appear in the meat when flies were prevented from laying eggs. These experiments were not satisfactory for many of the spontaneous generation promoters. When Lazaro Spallanzani supported biogenesis and demonstrated that microbes in the air 
could be killed by boiling. In 1861, Louis Pasteur performed a series of experiments that demolished the theory of spontaneous generation completely. After boiling the broth in a swan neck flask, he waited and there is no microbial growth observed. While doing the same experiment, but after breaking the swan neck, he observed microbial growth. He demonstrated that microorganisms like bacteria and fungi do not just spontaneously appear, but by invasion from without. Today scientists agree that all current life descended from earlier life. Charles Darwin described it progressively more complex and diverse by mechanism of evolution through natural selection. But the still remaining question is if all life come from previous life form then how and from where the very first life come into existence? Some scientists suggested that the very first life on earth came from somewhere else outside the earth. They may be from asteroids or as alien life. And this is called as the alien invasion theory. Some believes upon a biogenesis on planet Earth. The primitive components were nitrogen, ammonia, methane, carbon dioxide, water and hydrogen, which ultimately form complex organic compounds. This is called the chemical evolution theory. According to the theory, the primitive components like hydrogen, carbon dioxide, water, ammonia and nitrogen compile and form the carbohydrates, the fatty acids and the protein in the presence of lightning. Then ultimately the formation of nucleic acid take place. This theory is supported by Miller with the experimental proof. He created the similar condition of early earth artificially. He put all the ingredient of primitive earth into a chamber and heat it. He used electrical rods for lightning effect. Condense the treated gas with the help of condenser. At last he observed all the biomolecules with nucleic acid. Due to the non-polar nature, fatty acid surrounds all the biomolecules including nucleic acid. Let's discuss the first living cell. Surrounded by lipid bilayer and proteins due to the non-polar nature of lipids. Nucleic acid as genetic material probably RNA than DNA. Are the cell exist? Today these cells considered under the group Monera. Monerans are the simplest group of cellular organisms. They found in variety of shapes. Coca is a term for spherical shaped bacteria called as monococcus. In two coca are attached called as diplococcus. When they are attached in a chain like manner called as streptococcus. And when they form in a cluster it's called as staphylococcus. Long rod shaped bacteria called as bacilli. They possesses flagella for their movement. While Comma shaped bacteria are called as Vibrio. They also possess flagella for their locomotion. There are also spiral shaped bacteria which is called as Spirillum. Bacteria can be distinguished on the basis of the presence, absence and composition of their cell wall. Gram negative bacteria possesses a very thin murine with an extra layer of lipid while gram positive bacteria possesses a large amount of murine with single layer. This kind of arrangement gives the gram-negative bacteria a more pathogenic nature. These prokaryotic cells sometimes show a symbiotic relationship. It is believed that symbiotic relationship of these microorganisms give rise to a more complex form of cell. And that's how the microevolution generate a larger eukaryotic cell. Mitochondria and chloroplast show the similarity with the prokaryotic cells like eubacteria and cyanobacteria respectively. Rough endoplasmic reticulum possesses ribosome on their surface so the major function is protein synthesis and transport. Eukaryotic cell possesses a membrane bound nucleus where the genetic material is stored. Nuclear membrane possesses many pores for the signaling with the other cellular compartments and the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm contain membranous as well as non-membranous organelles with many metabolic compounds. The genetic material of eukaryotic cell is so highly compressed that even having a 2.2 meter length we could not see it with naked eyes. It possesses less than 2% essential or transcriptional part. Nuclear membrane provides a separate region for the storage of genetic material. Microtubules are polymer of tubulin 
that form part of the cytoskeleton and provide structure and shape to the eukaryotic cell lysosome helps in digestion and waste removal of the eukaryotic cell due to the absence of ribosome ser is more involved in the metabolism of fatty acid and carbohydrate while golgi complex helps in packaging of these metabolites cytoskeleton support the cell and give it its shape and strength cell membrane is composed of lipoprotein and it controls the movement of substances ribosomes are involved in formation of various kind of protein through translation nucleolus is involved in the formation of ribosomal subunit and ribosomal rna mitochondria are the power house where all the energy is formed they form energy in a universal currency known as atp but how this energy process started how these non living biomolecules provide energy for life process what is energy metabolism but that's a matter of next understand the core